Well, hello there, kids. Welcome to the Dill Learning Channel. Today we are writing about ladybugs. Ladybugs, it's spring. So I am very excited. Please make sure you have a writing page in front of you, a piece of paper to write on. And we are going to write together. Now, before we even talk about ladybugs, we brainstormed about ladybugs. We talked about what they look like, what they can do, and we watched videos, and we also read books about ladybugs. So please make sure before you even write, you need to brainstorm. So we know that our topic is ladybugs. So if you've been watching my or our videos, you know that you need to write ladybugs first with a capital letter. With a capital letter. So let's go ahead and do that. L -l 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 ladybugs. Ladybugs. What are some things we have learned about ladybugs? What are some things that you have learned about ladybugs? Because you should not be watching this video or writing to this video until you've actually brainstormed. So turn to your partner, turn to the piece of person who's teaching you, and tell them one fact about a ladybug. What is a detail and a fact about a ladybug? Well, we knew some things about ladybugs. So we talked about it and we partner chatted and we came up with a fabulous sentence. Ladybugs have spots. That's something you can go outside, catch a ladybug, look at a ladybug on a flower and you can visually notice that what friends? Ladybugs have spots. So ladybugs have Okay, ladybugs have spots on them. Ladybugs have spots on them. We are now learning they also, we're learning about a pronoun which means that we're not going to say ladybugs, 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 and then give details on every line. We're going to say ladybugs have spots. And now we're going to pop in our pronoun. So what will we say, friends? Tell your neighbor what you're going to say next. You got it. They also. That's what we're on. That's what we're learning right now. They, so we're not going to say the name. We are going to say they. We're not going to say ladybugs have spots, ladybugs, and then another fact. You're going to say ladybugs have spots, they. You're going to call them a they. They also. And another great fact that we learned was that they can fly. Isn't that amazing? Ladybugs have spots, they also. Please remember to use your that spacer, c c c an. That is a sight word, so you should know how to write can. They also can, and remember this is a guided writing, so you should be writing everything that I'm writing. F f f f fly. And what goes at the end? Great job. A period. Okay. Remember this is guided writing. This is guided writing, so that means you're writing what I'm writing, just so you can practice writing sentences, practice writing out thoughts. And please feel free to try to sound it out and spell it on your own before I get to it, okay? So ladybugs have spots. They also can fly. Now we can go back to ladybugs because I have a little trick or a little catchy phrase that I teach kids to know how to write. It's name, no name, name. Name, no name, name. So we start with the name, then we have no name, and then we go back to the name. I'll say that one more time. Name, no name. So what are we gonna start this sentence with? The name. So we started the first sentence with the name, we started the second sentence with no name, and then now we're going back to the name. So we're gonna have a capital L. So we're gonna write ladybugs again. We're going back to writing the name. So 
a little trick I've taught the kids. For many, it's it helps them out a lot. And I know, okay, the first one I'm gonna say the topic, the second one I'm not gonna say the name, and then the third one I'm gonna say the name again. So we have ladybugs have spots, they also can fly, ladybugs and da da da, -da. Tell your partner, your neighbor, your teacher, your parent, another amazing fact about ladybugs. First we said they have spots, they can fly, so let's do R. Let's do R. Use the connecting verb R. R. Ladybugs are. Go ahead and share out that that thought. Great job. What we thought about together with the kids was ladybugs are insects. Ladybugs are insects and a type of beetle. So some say they're insects. They are insects. You could say they are a beetle, a type of beetle. However you want to say it. And again, we put our end mark. So you can say ladybugs are insects. Ladybugs are a type of beetle or, or beetles. And then we are learning something new so that we can have four complete sentences. We're learning how to write a paragraph. That's what we're doing. A paragraph has four sentences. So we are going to tell our opinion at the end. What do you think about ladybugs? That's your opinion. Do you like ladybugs? Why don't you like ladybugs? So you tell your ending sentence, your concluding sentence should be your opinion. And I'm going to say, I love Looking at ladybugs. Now, this is a lowercase l because why? It's a lowercase l because it's not the beginning of a sentence. This was the beginning of a sentence, but a singular I is always capital, so it does not matter. But it was still at the beginning of the sentence, and this was not. So that's why ladybugs in this particular sentence is not a capital letter because it's not at the beginning of the sentence. Oh my gosh, you could have also said, I love catching ladybugs. Mm -hmm. I love watching ladybugs on flowers. So you can take a more advanced sentence and write down your thoughts. And, and you can have a perfectly wonderful opinion that way as well. I love writing about ladybugs. I love the spring. You see ladybugs in the springtime. You could have said that. As a fact, I like looking at ladybugs in the springtime. You could have said that. So now let's go back and read all of our fabulous sentences. So let's go ahead and read. Ladybugs have spots. They also can fly. Ladybugs are insects. I love looking at ladybugs. Period. Oh, this, <laughs> I'm getting excited because your writing is getting better and better and better and greater and greater and more awesome. Um, when you go back and reread, remember that's our new thing now. Go back and always reread your sentences so that they're not cuckoo sentences. So that cuckoo sentences mean they don't make sense. You have to make sure your hand is writing at the same pace as your thoughts. Think a full sentence but only write a couple of words or vice versa. They're, they're writing faster than they're thinking. So make sure that they, it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, that means you did it wrong and you have to go back and fix your words. So this was fabulous. Let's go ahead and remember, let's draw a little flower. Put a little grass at the bottom. Remember, you always draw your picture at the end. Put a little sun. I can go in and color it later. Put a little cloud. And where mostly do we see ladybugs? I see a lot of ladybugs on flowers. So let's go ahead and draw some flowers. Let's 
And then I'll make sure I have me a nice little ladybug right here. Some spots. You could also write how many legs a ladybug has. A ladybug has antennas. So this is really, really fabulous. So we got to write our fabulous sentences about a ladybug. And also on the site, there is a thinking map, um, I do believe, about ladybugs. So go ahead and check that out as well. I love, like always, writing with you. Your writing should improve more. These guided writings are simply a visual to teach you what your writing should look like, how to space, how to write your letters correctly, and to, to give you pointers on how to write, okay? So you need to go off on your own and continue to practice your writing and practice sounding out your words and practice writing your words neatly. Until next time, goodbye.